Um, one function we haven't talked about in the user interface tutorial is something which is called the command tool. And you find this over here on the bottom left corner, or it's not called command tool, but the commander, but I think it's the same thing. Um, yeah, and you can click on it and it's like a search function and now it's cut off because of the screen recording, but you can also use the shortcut shift and C and then this commander window will pop up. And basically what the commander will do, it has all the functions and tools available inside of Cinemography at your fingertips and you can just type and search. So for example, if I want to add a cube, I can just type cube and then the one pre-selected here, I can just hit enter on the keyboard and then the cube will be uh, added to the scene. And this is useful, especially if you don't know where to find specific tools or objects in the user interface, um, but you remember the name of the tool or the, the function, and then you can just type and use this kind of search function over here. For example, to show you that it's not only objects we can place in the scene, we can also use like functions. So for example, if I've moved this cube to a specific position and I want to reset its position to the default position. So for example, to this uh, null point here in the coordinate system, I can just go ahead, shift C and for example, use the function reset transform and then it will go back to the root position of this thing. Um, if you have a null object or a group basically and you move the group let's say to this position, and then you move the cube again to some other area. And now I want to reset the cube back to the position where the null object is. So basically at this kind of root position here, again, I can use the reset transform and uh, that was the same, the, the wrong selection. So I actually have to select the cube and then hit reset transform. And then the, the same thing applies that you can move the cube back to the root position of the null object. So this is always this kind of hierarchy thing. So um, the the null position for this cube, if you go to the coordinates manager here, you see it's zero, 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 because uh, it will always only see like the space of the null. And if you go to the null, you see that the coordinates of the null has changed to this position over here in the scene. Um, I think there's not much more to, to tell you about this commander, uh, just that it's very useful. And another thing, if you don't know what to do with a specific tool or you, you forgot what its function is, there's actually a very great documentation built into Cinema 4D. And basically what you can do is you can click on any object or thing or written text inside of Cinema 4D and um, get a context help. So for example, if I'm here in the cube object and I want some help about the cube object, I can do a right click and then go show help and the help window will open up and it will automatically navigate me to the section in the manual um, about the, the cube object and every setting and thing will be explained here. Now the cube object is very simple and there's not too, too much to learn about. But um, let's say, for example, we'll use a deformer, which we'll cover in a later session. Um, and then I go to show help again. I have to move that up here. Um, you see the, the first one is also um, very simple, but we can go back to the deformer objects itself to learn about the deformer objects. And you see, you find quite a lot of information on how to use deformer, what their use cases are, what you can do with it and how to combine them. Um, and uh, yeah, this is true for basically any object. Um, let's have another example here for the cloner. So let's say you don't really know what the mode means in the cloner tool. You can right click on mode, show help, this will update, and then it will automatically show you also the exact thing you clicked on and wanted the help for. So the yeah online help from Max and Cinema 4D is a really great feature and um, you will find a lot of information in it and whenever you want to look something up uh, and you don't know how to do it, the first thing you can or might try is to go to the help files and have a look if the specific thing is explained in there.